Hello, welcome back to Brandish 2. Uh, last time we made it to Cave B3. That's not what I want. We gotta get used to the controls again. But, uh, my head is still stuck in uh, Dark Revenant. Yeah, that's not the button. <laughs> okay. This should be the last floor of the cave as well. Right. Stupid. They're immune to magic. For reasons. Okay. Do I still have the hammer? I don't think I... No, I do not still have the hammer. I mean, I have the sledgehammer. I don't have the holy hammer. Yeah, let's go ahead and kill this guy. Preferably without wasting the... <sighs> well, the sword is better than the hammer, which is why I wanted to use the... the hammer. <laughs> do I have to fall into a pit to get that? I think I do. I am fairly certain that these are just damage. They... And not too much damage either. And a great sword. I have a bunch of great swords now. Okay then. Slowly filling up my inventory. I don't know if I still need the, these um, notes out. I think I do. Why did that one hurt? When it hurt so much more. Whatever. Okay. Is that thing floating for like a frame? Oh, I see what happened. I think I jumped into its spawn <laughs> and then it. Not its. Not that it spawned, but within range for it to be. Something the game needed to keep track of. Okay, don't want to ruin my potions. Poison. Always check. Wow, my uh, my magic is pretty bad. Well, I mean, I got 17 strength and 5 int, so... Yeah. 6 int. Oh, it actually paused him. I did, okay. And a bat. And just delete him. Okay. So what I want. Let's keep the shield off for a moment. Hey. Jerk bat. Okay, let's check in here. Is that bat coming in here? Good, it's not supposed to be able to. Actually, I think they do pass through doors. No keyhole. And a chest. And it's locked. And a revival ring. All right. Hmm. And I am full. So let's switch back to using the shield. Okay, potions. Yes, I have not accidentally turned them into poison at some point. And 
No keyhole. Okay. And there's the switch. There's always a switch. You back here and take your fireballs. It looks like the skeletons don't respawn, which is good. They shouldn't if they take something special to kill. Okay, well, that's the bat. And another weapon. I'm not going through weapons very quickly. Sure. At some point, I'm going to find an infinite battle axe and then just drop it. Because it's a battle axe. Not doing a very good job of mapping everything. But you don't get anything from mapping everything, so... It's locked in addition to not having the... <sighs> Another battle axe! Another chest. A magic. That was a potion, wasn't it? Yes. I actually wouldn't mind taking both of the battle axes with me, because that's money. Oh, goody. Um. The axe down. I was not expecting these to be as strong as they are. I and the hammer. Just one shotting the uh, skeletons. Okay. Could really use a shop. If I have to, I'll just drop this, uh, knuckle. It's almost gone anyways. Okay, you know what? Let's just drop the knuckle. Eh. Nah, if I run into a chest, I'll drop it. I am not gonna run into a chest. Mm, that's not true. I am gonna run into a chest. Let's drop this knuckle. I can't just drop it. Which one's stronger, the great sword or? Oh no, never mind. That's the dark sword. We will not be switching to the dark sword. The air is packed with tension in what looks like an otherwise quiet shrine. This is not a boss room. It's gonna map it for my um, my OCD, <laughs> which I don't have. But you get you gotta map the rooms in a, in an RPG, right? I'm not even going to check the door. I know I can't open it yet. So I think it's the door we go through? No. Oh, never mind. I could have swore that's where the exit was. 
Yes, I did want that, actually. I need to make room. I think I need to make room, because I think I get something in here. Let's, um... No. What if you have invis elixirs? A white mist slowly begins to waft from the lifelike sculpture. Suddenly, the young boy depicted by the statue seems to come alive. The stench of blood. Are you the one of those... Are you one of those foolish bounty hunters? I have, I have observed mankind for quite some time. Your ilk will destroy itself before long. Who am I? Like you, I was born human. Yet I now stand before you as a god. I am proof that mortals and gods alike can share the same realm. That aside, there's something familiar about you, but I can't quite say. Well, enough of you. This is my solitary sanctum of, obli of oblivion, my resting grounds. Depart from my flower garden this instant. Yet I have a feeling we'll meet again. You hear a wall collapsing. The boy's eyes point towards the source of the sound. I think that's to the south. Okay, he did not give me something. For some reason, I thought I got something from him. Let's take that. Look south. Yeah. Radiant God Resting Grounds. I feel like that should have been before going in there. Hurry up! Don't tell me what to do. Try again. That! I did not... I did not want to waste the ring there. Wow! <laughs> I should not have stopped to read that. Um... Okay. Uh, well, that that was a waste of a revival ring. All right then. Yeah, doors can close on you, and they can kill you. Poor revival ring. I think that's also on a timer. Huh. I thought that just opened that door. Right. There's an order to doing this nonsense. Well, at least I don't need to make room? <sighs> Jerk bat. Okay, so now we have the entire dark set. That is a very good get. I mean, the sword's not going to last forever, but that's not the point. That... Okay. Oh. We're, we're just immediately here. Okay, the maps have like a whole area <laughs> before get actually getting here. Uh, so this place is kind of a gating area for the first part of the game. There's a boss in the second half of the wharf.
Despite being greeted by the same pale sun, you feel relieved that your underwater journey has come to an end. But something is wrong with this quaint fishing village. Instead of bustling activity, only endless crashing waves can be heard. Yeah, anyway, so as I was saying, there is kind of a gating boss in this place. It's, um, really tough. Uh, so grind on the skeletons, I guess? Many villagers are sent to Belsados prison without justification. It's horrible. We live in constant fear of our king. At this rate, the whole village will disappear. There's a shop here... 90% sure? <laughs> How long has it been since last we fished? Damn that Kraken. There isn't a more miserable person than a fisherman who can't go out to sea. So where did you come from? What? You escaped from Belsados? Don't worry, the last thing any of us would do is turn you over to the, the King's men. We know all too well that many innocent folks are sent there. Even if you were a bad guy, I would let you go just to spike King Bador. I'm certain that this stormy sea and the Kraken's appearance are divine retribution. Yes, yeah, so the same Kraken that, uh... Um... Is probably doing unspeakable things to, De to Dela. I mean, I, th I think we all saw that coming. Just me? Okay, uh, yeah, so the same Kraken that attacked her is attacking the village, and it is a really annoying boss. This place sucks. We haven't been able to go out fishing in two years. Rumor has it that this land was cursed when King Bador murdered the prophet Benedict. Since then, monsters have multiplied and many villagers were unjustly sent to jail. I want to rescue my captive friends, but how? Uh, we might be getting to the boss this part. That doesn't mean we'll be killing it. It's mostly just a lot of hit points and a lot of, uh... Sort of playing with a gimmick. If you do it safely, it takes a while. Are you the one called Ares? I heard about you from a busty witch. <laughs> One of the kids found her washed ashore, so we nursed her back to good health. <laughs> she left as soon as she came to her senses. Not a very grateful lady, is she now? She said she was going to the castle, in case you're looking for her. You shouldn't make her wait. What a body, eh? Think she left you a letter somewhere. I'm, I'm fairly certain there's a shop in here. Why? Maybe not. And items I can't pick up. Okay. Then another item. I'm going to probably drop the uh, whole... Oh, never mind. There it is. <laughs> As I find the shop. <laughs> huh? Ares? Is that really you? I'll be damned. It's me. Daddy, been a while, huh? You really bailed me out back then in that infernal tower of Vital. Look at me now. I married Gala and settled over here. All thanks to you. So, this is the, um... The, the names are not the same. But this is the, the woman gave us a quest to find her boyfriend. And this is the boyfriend. And they look nothing like that. Not just the, the uh, Dark Remnant version but any version, they do not look the same. That is a valuable hammer, and it's gone. And the axe, that almost makes you want to go back for the other axe. Almost.
got a bunch of rings to sell. That is, that is a lot of money. Okay. Um... I don't think I need to sell anything else. I'm tempted to sell the Holy Sword. Because I don't think I'm going to run into any undead soon. But I'm going to hang on to it for now. Does that seem much it's worth? Oh, repair? No. That... That is a lot of money. Okay, what do you got to sell? Very expensive armor. I don't know if that's a better shield. 20 defense. This is definitely going to be better armor. Can I... Yeah, I can't check this. 312, so that's not a better shield. Oh, that is a better shield, never mind. Okay, so I want the shield and I want the armor. I'll get flame armor later. Okay, I'm gonna sell the armor. I'm not gonna sell the shield just yet, because I wanna... I know I didn't show this off. I... I should show this off before I actually do it. I think I mentioned early on... about dual-wielding shields. Uh... Ares is going to look super doofy. <laughs> yes. You can also attack like this. In, in case you thought this was all defense. You can attack with dual shields. But yeah. So, I don't think I explained this. I may have during Dark Revenant. The same button to attack is also defend. It changes depending on if there's an enemy right in front of you. And the dual shields, you can see, he holds one in front and one in the back, and that will be a hint to what we are going to be using for. Oh, what a... Go, oh, do that. Stuff around, there we go. We're not going to be hanging on to that knuckle for too much longer. I already have enough great swords that it's probably... Gonna, well, the boss is coming up, so... I'm actually going to store this. So now I will sell this shield. But yeah, just... Uh, I guess a, a sneak peek at things to come. Maybe I should have gone around and picked stuff up, because I'm probably going to sell more stuff. But yeah, the only item really worth getting is the shield. Because it is not an infinite use sword. when you were uh, leaving the prison. I could swear that there was another shop, because I thought I had... Okay, those are both potions, that's good. Always double check. <laughs> nope. Menuing is a little bit sensitive. I, I do not know why. This is empty. Let's see. Poor oh, kid. Daddy was taken to Belsados by those mean soldiers. If only I was stronger. Why did the king hate us so much? Oh, okay, there is another shop. Alright. Welcome, stranger. This may be a mere fishing village, but my goods are famous around the world. If you see anything you like, just let me know, but touch with your eyes, not your hands. Could it be that you arrived to this village via the old path of piety? Well, you're something else. How did you make it through the Shrine of Adonis? And this must mean you came from the Forgotten Islet. That islet is where Adonis was murdered out of jealousy a thousand years ago. Since he was such a beautiful boy when he was born, the gods took a liking to him. However, this broke the harmony between gods and mortals, so they secluded him in a shrine. 
That's the story. They say he was made immortal upon his death, but no one knows for sure. Back to reality, I'm sure you've witnessed how dried up this village has gotten. Perhaps someone desecrated the shrine and this angered the gods. I just hope you did not make it worse. <laughs> when will this valediction end? Okay. Potions. Steel balls. I think we're going to buy some keys. Huh, I thought she had thunder magic. Huh. I could have swore I had thunder magic for this boss and it not doing much. Maybe it's in a chest here. Anyways, I'm going to buy... So, menuing in the shops is a little stiff. Menuing in the, your actual menu is a little... floaty. Like, you can see me, like, kind of jumping around. That's not really me. One press can some... Well, more like buffered inputs, I would say. Than anything. It... it, it something you do not get used to. <laughs> what? You think you can kill the Kraken? That thing will eat anything and anyone. Surely you don't want to be eaten alive. I distinctly remember having um, thunder magic, so it must be in somewhere. Defense ring, that's actually pretty useful. I know I left a chest somewhere. Huh. I actually cannot interact with the well. Like, I, I don't even get in everything seems okay, I just get nothing. Was that supposed to be something? Hmm, okay. That's where I came from. Here we go. Three chests. Empty. Empty. Oh. <laughs> Dela picked the place clean, that's what happened. Bone key. Maybe it's in the southern part of the map. And I'm getting close to time, so I don't think I'm actually going to get to the boss this part. Well, there it is. Letter from Dela? Hey, Slowpoke, I'm on my way to the castle. There's this tower. Okay, what about the tower? And an infinite short sword. All right, then. Or two. 3-1, and you also cannot sell infinite use weapons, so goodbye, Fist. Maybe I will actually get to the boss. This, uh, the wharf is divided into two parts in the PC-98 version, and in this version it's only one, I think. Yeah, because it only says Wharf, and not Wharf 1. I'm gonna save. Uh, I think it's the boss, that way. Yes. Uh, I think I'm going to try using the great sword, but then probably so let's switch to thunder. Although I don't remember that doing much to the boss. I want to try using great swords for a bit, but they're probably just going to keep breaking. And then use the short sword. I don't think this thing defends. I should not have slept there. 
You can kill the tentacles. But to actually hurt the thing, you have to hit the face. And I'm not getting very good luck on it. What I, what I should do... Maybe not one. Let's try two. Well, there's one hit. We're well on our way. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to use magic. Whatever. That actually does okay damage to him. That's... Wow, he's got a lot of health. I keep pressing the wrong button when I want to use magic. So, yeah, the gimmick is to just kind of jump around to get behind him. The dangerous thing is to wait for him to pop up, jump over his head, and then attack from behind. Sort of like that. The better. The safe thing to do is to jump around like that and work up behind him. Cause you'll get hit from four sides if you don't if you try to with the uh Actually not taking a whole lot of damage from him. Not that I want to stand there and take it. Then you get times like that where he does not give you a chance to get behind him. For the most part, I'm only going to get one swing as well. Let's try just facing him and swinging. Yeah, I'm, I'm must be much higher level than I used to be when I did this. Let's try another great sword. I don't want to break all of them, but I will go through one more, maybe two more. Once he gets that ink on you, it starts doing a lot more damage. I also think I can speed it up a little bit. If I have room to jump over him, I will just let him wail on me a bit. His tentacles can attack you from all around, his head cannot. And the tentacles don't stay dead. I do that pretty fast, unfortunately. Don't, don't! It is mostly safe to sleep during this fight. <laughs> I really should have saved this for next time. This is just a long fight. try the defense ring and just tanking him, but I don't think that's going to be a smart decision. Ah. 
I was ahead of him there. How did I not have time to get behind him? That was some good hits. <sighs> you really don't want to be fighting him in a corner either. He's not really a hard boss, just time consuming. Yeah, I don't think I want to use up my last great sword on him. That's also not doing too terrible of damage, so... I'm very glad I bought better armor. Maybe that's what my problem was every other time I did this. I didn't buy better armor. Well, at the very least, I'm getting strength training. Actually, a fair bit of hint as well. He's almost gone. Getting there. getting into not good positions. It is also the last thing to come up, so wherever you see the tentacles, Go the go where they're not. Getting there. Ha, huh, finally. Be sure to examine the body. <laughs> He's got a key on him. I think it would make more sense to unlock the door just from him being dead. I don't know if there will be a key there if you leave. I don't know why you would. The castle is perched atop a steep cliff, its cold and distant shadow echoing the king's lonely reign. As you reach the fortifications, a fetid stench hints of foul beasts also roaming Bador's stronghold. Okay, we are now at the castle wall, and I am well over time, so I'm going to call this here. Uh, we will pick up here next time. I think there's only four castle walls, and in the PC-98 version there's ten, so saving a lot of time here. 
I don't know how they crammed it all in there. I also don't think it's really that different from the PC-98 version in terms of layout. But anyways, yeah, that's going to be it for this part. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you stick around for more. And thanks for watching.